for 37 years, Guelph has celebrated multiculturalism and it's not going to change this year with the Guelph and District Multicultural Festival. And joining me is Synthuja from the festival. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So we're going on for 37 years. Uh, what is new at the festival? You know, we've been doing this for so long. Uh, are you doing anything different this time around? Hey, hi, Ryan. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, we, yeah, actually, this year we are trying to do a lot of new things. I'm not sure if you know that most of the time people get really frustrated with the parking because, you know, we have very limited parking at the Riverside. So there are two things we are trying to do this year uh, to introduce as new programs. One is we are introducing a fenced in valet bike parking that's going to be helped by GCAT. We are partnering with them and they're going to support by providing a valet bike parking, that's one. And the other one is very, very interesting is we partnered with the city of Guelph and uh, they're actually helping us with a shuttle bus. And so we're not giving the shuttle bus for all the three days. We are just trying pilot testing it for Saturday. So from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m., you're going to have shuttle bus between downtown and uh, the Riverside Park. So you can park there and then shuttle to our service and uh, to our festival, and then you can go back, you know, using the same shuttle. So that's really new. And of course, we are going to have more uh, children activities, you know, because that's the heart of the festival. That's the, you know, it's a family friendly festival. So we want to have more activities, which, you know, includes and entertains kids. So that's what is new. Other than that, we have the usual Midway, Magical Midway rides. Oh, uh, we have a lot of activities, which the Highland Games and all that, they, they are the usual. So these are the only new things we do this year. It's its great to hear you say that it's family friendly. I actually, when I was talking to you the other day, I remember, I'm like, I went to this when I was a little boy. I remember clearly remember like seeing it, picturing it again in my head as a little kid being in downtown Guelph and watching the performances. So I just remember that day seeing all the costumes and the regalia of all these different cultures. And uh, is that a big part of this festival? Like, what are we going to go when we get there? You mentioned the Midway Games. But in terms of multiculturalism, I always think, you know, dance, music and food. Is that what we're going to expect this year as always? Absolutely. You see, you see, Guelph is so uniquely developed city in a way you know it is it's not too big it's not too small it's so community based and right here in Canada we can experience the world of cultures and, and that's what we really want to promote the most is how you can actually have kind of an immersive experience by tasting the food or maybe you know being part not really part of the dance but you know there are lots of people who are doing dance workshops you know while they are performing so you know being part of it you get an immersive experience of a different culture and, and seeing this colorful nature of different cultures right and I think and it's great that you said that it reminds you of your childhood and I think once we make an amazing uh, festival and I think it will remain forever in a child's memory and that's what you want to do you know like you know uh, bring the world to them this is how the world lives and enjoys or celebrates but you can see it right here in Guelph and this is going to be in your memory for a long time and that's what we are hoping. I love you saying that Guelph is not too big not too small it really is the Goldilocks zone of Ontario. And exactly that's what I normally say you know it, it is the Goldilocks you know it's not too big it's not too small it's just too perfect yeah. See, that brings us the most joy for us, you know, knowing that the community knows each other and, you know, they come here and it becomes like a celebration of everybody coming together and enjoying and watching, you know, different things and doing different activities together. It's like a one big family event. Uh, just two more questions. I'm sure there are lots and lots of countries rep being represented. Can you, do you know how many and can you list off a few of them that are? See, in terms of the food representation and the dance representations together, quite possibly we are having between 30 to 40 nationalities or different cultures presented. And they include the Hungarian, Ukrainian, Nepali, Indian, Chinese. Um, yeah, the food again, uh, you have the Thai food, you have the Greek food. And, uh, you know, basically we really touch upon a lot of uh, Caribbean activities as well. And so we do a lot and you know, represent at least 30 to 40 countries, I believe. And last question uh, for someone out there watching who hasn't been to the festival before, but has heard about it. 
uh, and thinking about going this year, what would you want to tell that person? Even though the festival has been going on for the past 36 years, and this is the 37th year, I can see that a lot of new people in Guelph who have never been to a multicultural festival. And we really want to, you know, uh, we really hope that these uh, new people can join us and have a great immersive experience. You know, what what is better than the sights and sounds, right? So the sights, sound, and the tasting. So all this is what you will get at the festival, as well as we have free face painting for the children. And a lot of children activities come together as a family, you know, all generation friends and family together. And I'm very sure that you won't be disappointed. And I should tell you that in 2022, our festival was voted as the favorite festival in Guelph. So I am 100% sure that we are going to top last year. And it's again going to be another favorite festival in 2023. Beautiful. So uh, for more information, you can visit gdmf.ca. And the festival actually happens on June 9th through June 11th. So get ready. Lots of great transportation tips we heard earlier. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much, Ryan.